Dear student, now we'll be talking about what is the role of intestine and digestion. So first we need to understand the intestine. It is the portion of alimentary canal from stomach to anus is called intestine and uh, there are divided into two parts small intestine and large intestine small intestine which is 6.25 long coil tube whereas large intestine is larger in di diameter than small intestine and 1.5 centimeter long okay and uh, what is the main function uh, uh, is of a small intestine is in digestion and absorption whereas the main function of large intestine is in water absorption and feces formation Main parts are uh, duodenum, jejunum, ileum. So, duodenum is the longest part, 25 centimeter. Sorry, um, ileum is the longest, uh, and jejunum is a 2.5 meter, ileum is 3.5 meter. Duodenum mainly receives this is the smallest part of intestine, which mainly uh, receives the bile juices from liver and uh, pancreatic juices from pancreas throughout the through the hepatopancreatic duct or impura. Jejunum is the narrow portion than duodenum and is highly coiled. Ileum mainly associated with absorption. If you see large intestine part, cecum 2 inches long, colon 150 centimeter longest part of large intestine. Uh, main place for reabsorption, absorption of water and salt. It is divided as ascending, transfer, descending, and sigmoid colon. Okay, and uh, rectum and anal canal. Okay, so you can uh, look at the structure uh, over here, and then you can see this is a small intestine. This is uh, this, uh, duodenum, the upper part of small intestine, and uh, here you can see cecum colon ascending transfer colon descending colon sigmoid colon anus this is cecum and this is the opening uh, between the small and large intestine and this is called um, ileo um, ileocoil valve which control the entry of material from ileum to cecum so ileum is the uh, posterior portion of small intestine cecum is the interior por portion of large intestine then appendix which is the remnant or called the vestigial organ is present over here. Uh, many bacteria symbiotically reside in large intestine which carry out fermentation of undigested food and produces vitamin K, B12 and thymine in the intestine. Okay. Now we'll be talking about... Uh, the other parts of uh, intestine uh, there are few terms which you need to understand pierce patches the lymph node that occurs in the mucous membrane of small intestine so often you come across this term and uh, it has a role in the immune surveillance within the digestive system and spleen is the organ of lymphatic system Okay, spleen is also it is not at all associated with digestive system but since it is placed along with other uh, organ of digestive system so um, main function it is associated with immunity and it break down damage RBC and save useful components such as iron spleen is the largest lymphatic organ and is called blood blank of uh, the body because it is stores RBC now there are intestinal folds which are called mucosal fold and then you have villi and microvilli which are further infolding of villi and crypts which are formed between the base of villi so you can look at here this is structure is called villi infolding and then you can see these are microvilli further folding of the villi and the blood capillaries and the lymphatic vessels called lacteals are associated uh, with these uh, cells okay they provide all circulatory system is there so they provide everything to the cell and moreover they also play a role in the absorption from the lumen to the cell 
then there are glands this is this is structure is called crypt which is formed between the base of villi and the extension near to that is the pruner's gland so different glands are located over here throughout the these these cells these cells are called enterocyte cells and the modification are goblet cells and other cells which secrete something so the cells which secretes are called glandular cells or glands so we'll be talking about which all secrete what all things not only that intestine receives the secretion from other accessory glands the accessory glands which pour their secretion to the intestine are liver and pancreas so liver during the digestion act as a gland endocrine gland and it is said to be the largest and it secrete the bile juice pancreas during the digestion pancreas act as a gland usually these two are organ but in the digestive system they act as a gland it is heterocrine gland that is endocrine as well as exocrine and 99 percent of the pancreas is exocrine one percent is endocrine the endocrine uh, part secrete the hormone whereas the exocrine part secrete the enzyme or you can say pancreatic juice okay so the cells of intestine which act as a gland are called intestinal glands and the intestinal juice is called succus entricus and the pH is 7.8 to 8.3 so they are a crypt of labircun they are the pit between villi and these are tubular gland and present throughout the mucosa of a small intestine and also in colon region at the base between villi there are four types of cells penet cell ergentafin cell goblet cell enzyme secreting cell okay and then the intestinal gland another gland is called Brunner gland so I have al already told you where the Brunner glands are located so Brunner glands uh, it is uh, compound duodenal gland and these tubular glands are present in the submucosa of duodenum and open up into the crypt of Lebercun and they produces and they produces mucus and hormones such as secretin and called cystokinin also enterocrine villikins and diocrine hormones so let's discuss the glandular cells of crypt of Lebercun. penit cell secret lysozyme which is antimicrobial agent argentin cells secret serotonin which is a vasoconstrictor so it is stimulate the peristaltic movement and inhibit secretory activity of gastric gland and then goblet cell which secrete the mucus enzyme secreting cells produces the enzymes of intestinal juice mucus secreting gland which is from the Brunner's gland produces uh, mucus and uh, it is always alkaline in nature and prevent the uh, acidic a duodenal cell from acid uh, attack because in the chyme acid is present hormones such as secretin and colchestokinin these are the main hormones so now we will see what is the role of colchestokinin when the fat reaches the duodenum it causes release of enzyme from pancreas and contraction of gallbladder which forces release of bile so colchestokinin causes the secretion of pancreatic juice and the release of gallbladder into the intestine secretin is stimulate the secretion of bicarbonate rich pancreatic fluid and also stimulate intestinal mucosa enterocrinin uh, secreted by intestinal mucosa induces increased secretion of enzyme from crypt of Lebercun. diocrinin causes release of mucus from Brunner's gland okay so this is all about uh, the intestine and the associated gland and in the next uh, part i will be discussing liver as a gland so this is all for this uh, video thank you